Alrighty, here we are, as always, first time viewing the gameplay of our boy Filthy Mike. So, let's see how he goes. What do we got here? We're dropping in. Alright, uh, we're going to pause it real quick straight away, have a look at the map. If I'm looking at this map and if I'm wanting to get aggressive, I'm going to go airfield. Let's be honest. I freaking I love airfield. It's on the outside of the zone. Uh, so you're going to be able to fight the people here. There'll be a few people rotating around, uh, but you get to control the push. So I love airfield if I'm going really aggressive. Peak would even be decent as well. Uh, I do love an arsenal drop, but it's right in the middle of zone. So the reason I wouldn't want to go there is it means you're going to get pushed from every possible angle. And it, it just, it'd be a slow paced game. So for me... I wouldn't want to go there. Looking at this zone, airfield would be my pick, being an aggressive player. Uh, but playing for the win, you know, something like ruins could be really good or even pushing out to like beachhead like further away. So if you're going for the win, something on the side but still not in the middle, maybe beachhead would be the best play because it's further from the, the flight path. But let's see what our boy does, eh? Let's check it out. Oh, he's looking. He's contemplating. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? All right, he jumps. We're looking like village. Village or ruins. Very nice. Very nice. All right, we're going to skip forward a little bit. We don't need to see flying in. Uh, we're going to keep skipping. All right, he's got a gun. He's found someone. Let's just back it up so we can get this fight a little bit like leading into it. Sees him dropping in. Getting the position, going for that roof jump would have been clutch to get up there. That would have been a brilliant position. Here's him finding someone else. Gets the MP40, wants a third party. Brilliant. I like the aggression. Pops the stim for the fast movement. I like it. I like it. Here's the guy running. Drops a dip. Does a little drop shot. Gets a little bit wobbly, but takes the kill. And I like it. I like it. The aggression pushing in there before he can potentially armor. Great. Absolutely love that. Again, we're going to skip forward again here, guys. Uh, we don't need to watch the looting. He's looting up. He's seen a supply drop. I'm sure he's a little bit sus on that. If we see that... There we go. Now he's got someone pinged. You can hear them on the right side. Oh, he's got two. Interesting. How's he going to handle this situation? They're not moving, he's not moving. It's a tricky situation. Bit of a stalemate. Four people. Alrighty, we're still waiting. He's unsure of how he wants to handle this situation, is what's going on here. And I don't I don't blame him. It's a bit of a tricky one. Hearing the footsteps. Great work. Taking the shots whilst he's in the animation of climbing the ladder. Dude can't shoot back. Brilliant work. Other guy walks out like a bit of a baboon. Gets an easy two kills. All right, brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to keep letting it play on because we, we don't need to go back. But essentially what I would have done in that situation was... He was waiting and he had the heartbeat, so he definitely had the upper hand in knowing where they were. They wouldn't have known where he was. Uh, but you could take that fight in a way that it would be a 1v1 both times. Now, playing it slow, waiting for them to move brilliant i want in and out so i probably as the dude was fighting that other guy would have gone around the back of my building meaning the dude that he's on right now would not have been able to see you you could have come in third party that guy got rid of him and then the guy here would have been peeking a window ready to fight thinking that he's going to drop the element of surprise but he doesn't know that you actually know he's there so then you would have been able to aggressively peek a window and take both of them out just to keep up the pace a little bit but that's getting very nitpicky like very nitpicky you've done really really well you've got involved in a 1v3 situation walked out with two of the kills and your life well done well done. All right, so he's gotten loadout. That's what we like to see. Someone is positioning him. What is going to happen? Yeah, fair call to bail. It was a little bit close, a little bit close, but those huts are renowned for not letting you survive airstrikes. I'm thinking he thought he had a heartbeat there. He was not intentional on busting that stim. I've done that before, homie. I feel you. <laughs> so what's he thinking? He's seen the gunshots in the room across. Good play. Good play to be looking. Waiting for another audio or visual cue to work out exactly where he is before he pushes. I can see what he's doing. Which is a very, very smart and appropriate way to play this. Here he goes. Gets his heartbeat back. 
10 meters, room next door. Little pre-fire on the window, I like it. Gets physically hit by the grenade, gets out of there. Oh my goodness, he is getting, you are getting lucky here, Filthy Mike. Oh, that was pretty lucky. My goodness. See, this scares me. This I'm not a fan of, this situation right here. You are so exposed to your behind, which you haven't looked at at all. And also, this guy has got great high ground on you. You've got plenty of opportunity to be rotating around this house, getting different angles. Currently, you're at a predictable angle. Um, I'm always... That was great. Brilliant pre-fire. Great work using that combat scout. Gets the hit marker, starts shooting through the wall. Dude freaks out, jumps out, gets the kill. Loved that. Your actual engagement, bro, on point. Amazing. You could have done that quite a bit sooner or from a bit more of a safer position, move, moving around that building. But uh, top notch to throw that grenade. Use your lethals, guys. If you've got them, use them. You will find more. It's okay. Sometimes we get stuck in the mentality of, oh, but I might need them more later. Th that point is void if you die because you don't use them. You know what I'm saying? Like, just use them. You'll find more. All righty. On five kills, absolute burner of a game. Love to see it. Love to see it. On his way to his loadie. I'm guessing he's going to get ghosts. Checking out with the heartbeat along the way. Uh, little point again. Here we go. Oh, we're on buybacks. This is nice. This is nice. This is why we've got people dropping in all the time. This is fun. High pace. I love buybacks. You know this dude doesn't have much. Nice. Get involved. Get aggressive. Take him out. Love it. Uh, now, one thing with the heartbeat, and this is, this is a good one to know, is unless you're really wanting to know exactly where they are, uh, just tap it. You hear the audio cue of the beep if there's someone there. So as you're just running around, oh, get this guy out of the sky. Let's go, baby. That was him pulling a shoot. Don't worry. Oh, so he stole your kill, I think. Reloading here. Nice. Now, ooh, we are, homie, we are sitting in the open. All right, let's play this back, okay? Let's play this back a little bit because this is an interesting one. So you see, you engage on a guy initially. You get the heartbeat and you're pushing him. You want to take the dude out of the sky, which I respect. I'd want to do the same thing. So you're, you're fighting this guy. You're pushing up. See the dude on the sky. That causes you to take a step back. Fair enough. You get the crack of both. You do hear that second shoot. I thought it was the guy up there. You were right to be nervous. It was actually someone landing on loadout. But either way, here, you've got two options. Right now, what you can be doing is that you know there's someone. Let's use that little marker. You know there's someone in this house, right? I would be pushing underneath the house. They've got two places to be. They're either above you in here or they've wrapped around the backside of the house here. Going inside, you're keeping the cover. You're able to armor, reload, do all those things. For me, close enough to be getting audio cues here where you don't need heartbeat. So my first thing that I'm doing, reloading. Always reload first. Your priority list, guys, reload first. It doesn't matter how much health you've got or how much awareness you've got. If you've got no bullets, you're not going to win the fight. Reload. Instantly reload. Then armor. Then if you haven't heard anything and you're still there, then pull out the heartbeat. Um, but pulling back here is risky. Now, I, I even called out before that I thought the audio was bugged. Surprise, surprise. Bugged audio, you know. It wasn't. There was actually another guy that dropped in on this loadout over here, uh, which which we're obviously aware of now. You're hearing those shots now that he's over there, immediately cutting into where we talked about before, immediately wanting to cut into that house because you knew where those shots were, laying prone in the open. Danger, danger, danger. I'm guessing it was a bit of a panic prone. Uh, so we'll give you we'll give you some grace on that one. You've just seen a guy in the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. I like that. That's exactly what I'd be doing. Going for gold. You miss every shot you don't take. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now he's far too high. Don't worry about him. Go get your loadie, homie. He's baiting him into the fight, though, which I respect. I respect that. Dude's hitting some shots as well. Where? Who's going to win? We are in the sky. <laughs> Now, this is a scary drop-in, being that you know that homeboy is still going to be here. It's buybacks. People are dropping back on their gear all the time. Oh, I can see the guy on the right. Oh, no. 
Okay, we're going to let it just keep going here. I'm going to speak over it. We don't need to watch it again. Two things you've known. One, the guy you've been fighting in the sky has landed with you. You've seen him land with you. Two, the guy who got you there previously is still going to be in the area. So I understand wanting to drop back on the gear. I fully get that. Getting the loadout takes so long. Risky. But your guns that are there are decent already. What I would have done, swooped down, ran past, picked up just one gun, your Owen gun, whatever your close range is, repositioning to find somewhere of cover, trying to locate where these two other people were. Unfortunately, if, I mean, if you'd done that, you would have seen the guy at that loadout. Um, unfortunately, went for your loadout and he just got down first. And who knows where that other third guy is. But either way, the loadout itself was very risky. Get your guns, clear the region, then go again. All right, so we're on seven kills. We're repositioning. I've seen what he's done here. He's gone for a dirty, dirty camp. He's put the oil can down on the buy, wanting to shoot it for someone who drops on. I love it. Toxic. Love it. Seen some ho boy running. Ho boy. Home boy <laughs> running towards him. <laughs> Takes him out. Get him out of the game. Well played, well played. Simple, effective, good shooting. Our boy is cracked off of his face. Little toxic play here, I reckon. Pick up that proximity, chuck it on his body. It is buybacks. Put it next to the body, hoping to get a vehicle, I'm guessing, putting it on the road. Uh, either way, toxic, I like it. Get it done, baby. I like it, I like it. What you could have done if you really cared about it, if you didn't want to keep it, is you could put down that muni box, get two of your little pancake mines. Having two of your pancake mines, no, it's going to be an instant kill no matter their armor. It goes, doop, doop, boom, dead. Now, you just seen him dropping in, but we're going to pause it here because we're going to look at the zone real quick, everybody. All right, we've got our marker here. We obviously know you got the whole map. There was a few people fighting around village. We're aware of that because that's where he was. So there's going to be a couple people here in ruins, but the majority of people, this is what you're left with. Campers, Arsenal, all campers. There'll be a couple people coming in here, but the majority of this map is being pushed in this region here. So if you're wanting to get high kills, and this is what I was talking about before, is I, I would be coming around the outside. So you, you say you're in here, you clear this. I would be wanting to push up to this edge here and then rotating around this region right in there because that is where majority of your people are. Uh, now, just sitting here, wanting to get kills down into mines is desirable, but your back is open to everyone that's in this area, which there's going to be a lot. Arsenal at this point, center of zone, Camp City, freaks me out. I'd avoid it at this point. Now, when you pulled this map up, you, you actually missed it, uh, but I, I'm going to go back because it's, um, it's just awareness, right? Little things, little things. So he's heart beating, he's heart beating. Boom, right here. You can see it now very quickly. Boom, guy. That's your guy that you've just killed. He's coming back in for his stuff. Obviously, like, trying to stay aware to all these things. I saw that guy just before you pulled up your map. Um, always trying to stay aware to those kinds of things. Simple to miss it, though. Understandable. All right, skipping forward. You've determined what you want to do. Pulls out the muni box. Very well played. Something I'm always cautious of with muni boxes is that if they get blown up... Um, it, they explode and kill you. Now, if someone was to throw a grenade up here, you've got a muni box and two explosives down. You're a very, very dead individual, just to be mindful of. Also, I mean, you're prone, so if they pop up that ladder and blow those things off, you're okay. Um, but if you were to stand up, then you would actually be in danger of those mines hitting you. So a risky place to camp if you're going to have the mines set up just there. Uh, pushing forward. We're on zone four here now. There we go. We've got a heartbeat. What's he thinking? He's baiting him for the ladder. He wants him to come up the ladder. Sitting, holding patience. Woo! Now, you got unlucky by the fact that your muni box timed out just as he got there. He had no clue you were there, but that he heard that little box break, and that's what scared him. Dropping down, getting the gear, and coming back up. I probably would have armored first, um, then dropped down, got the gear, just in case there's someone looking at you. You have shot an unsuppressed gun. You've been popping up on the map. Again, back into this spot here, which is I'm not a fan of. I understand holding down this roof. That's fine. Hold it from the other side of this building. Uh, where you are right now, there's too much chance that something goes horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> Long time in this little corner, homie. 
You're in a great position on the zone. You can see up on the mini map, you're on the edge of the white zone. So actually holding this building right now is brilliant. Um, my issue with the method of holding but not looking around is that you're not getting any intel. So you are going to survive and you probably will catch some people off guard as they come in. Um, and, and it's a perfectly fine way to play if you want to go in for the win. Um, obviously, if you want kills and high, high kills, you're pushing all the time. But even if I was to be holding this building, I would be standing and I would be constantly moving, but I would be looking. You're at such an advantageous position in this building. You're okay to take fights. If someone wants to challenge you while you're here, you're the one with the head glitch. You're the one that's most likely going to win. Sitting down prone on this part just here, you're not getting any intel. Like right now, you're low-key freaking out because there could be people anywhere around you. You've got zero idea. And again, these mines, oh, I'm getting nervous watching you here with them because they could blow up at any time and you'd be dead. Um, all right, so we're looking. You're in people. This guy is very aware of your position. Risky place to come. Obviously, this is now you've got no cover and visual from anywhere else, but you are repositioning. Again, I would have just gone to the other side of that lower one. If he's pushed up the ladder, you do have the mines there. Uh, at this point now, you're not going to see him push up the ladder. If he does and he manages to get up, goes prone, dodges the mines, he then has a nasty little head glitch on you using those stairs right in front of you here that you're looking at. Risky. He hasn't gone up the ladder. You know that because your mines hasn't gone off. So I would be, I'd be wanting to get this guy out. I, I don't like this guy. There you go. He's gone up the ladder. Got lucky on those might. Well, not lucky. You, you very much planned that to happen. Um, but they did pay off. That was not the guy. I've just heard a footstep on your right side. I don't know if you heard that or not. We're about to find out. But I, this was not the guy that you were originally having a little tango with. Wanting that snippy. Understandable. Armor, also. Uh, loot is exciting. It's pretty. Get that armor on first, then have a good squizzy at the loot. Just in case some homeboy pushes you with dead silence, you don't hear him coming, whatever goes on, just wanted to be ready for that. Now, this dude, I think, is the one that you was originally looking at you. Yeah, it is. You could be pushing up here a little bit to get outside of this coughing zone. Um, great movement. Great slide, great angle. Well played, well played. You could have pushed up to still have that head glitch, but not be taking damage into the zone. Um, but you got nice shots on him at the beginning. Big beginning. At the beginning, freaked him out, and he, he then pushed forward. Brilliant. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, now we are in a 1v3 situation. Slowing things down here. We've been holding this high ground, and so we're aware that there is no one on this high ground because we've been sitting here for quite a few minutes now. So that's good. That's your intel. That's what you know. Again, with the heartbeat, I'm, I'm not going to hold it. I'm not going to look for those dots. I'm going to pull it out. I'm literally tapping it. It starts it. I'm not looking for the dots. Only then if I hear the beep, I will then pull it out again and have a look at where that dot was. Uh, but I'm, I'm just tapping that thing. So I'm having as little time as possible where I'm in an animation that I can't have my gun out, right? That's, that's the idea behind that. Now, I like this pulling to the right. Ah, see, here... Filthy, you gotta get you gotta get sights on, man. You gotta get visual on. Like what I'd be looking for right here is looking over this this wall to your right, looking over that wall, using it as a head glitch, but peeking, looking, looking for people, rotating, looking for the guy standing in the distance, whatever it is. Uh, but definitely getting involved. Calls in the precision. See, the, I would have held that precision. Uh, there's a good chance someone here has a sniper. Looking at the zone, there's a lot of open ground, right? Like maybe they're behind a tree or a little rock or something. Having a precision to force them out of their cover, then you could beam them, is a free kill. Uh, you, you didn't have any idea that anyone would be there. It was kind of just like a lucky guess. Um, you know, nothing really came of it. Homeboy pushes up. Brilliant play. You heard his shots. Got rid of him, third partied him like an absolute champ. We're now in a 1v2 situation. But yeah, that's what I would have done with the precision. Held onto it, used it. Um, ah, see, same thing again. You, you got no reason to throw it down there. You don't you don't know if that's a guy there or not. Uh, but now you're hearing a guy sniping. Now a precision would be awfully nice. As he's being pushed out of that building, he has to be in the dead open, putting a precision in front of the house. You know, about now would be an amazing play. There was also a gas mask back there that you left that you you know you obviously want to be on. 1v1, got the guy in heartbeat. 
Get some eyes on. Good shots. Good work to get that reload in. Nice, nice. Good shots. Good shots. <laughs> Dude is not happy. Dude is not happy. Hey, man, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic gameplay. I uh, love your gun skill. Your movement is nice. You've got some good slides going. You've got some good action. I would just be... My biggest advice, my biggest take-home for you would be to constantly be trying to get that intel on your surroundings. So when playing it slower, the playing it slow is fine, but don't be blind, right? Like, just don't allow people to push onto you completely free so always using head glitches moving around but keeping that intel coming you don't want people to sneak up on you even if you're playing it slower but great shots great movement really well played fantastic game guys thank you so much for hanging out we uh, look forward to see the next one remember upload to youtube dm me the link and i would love to review your gameplay let's get some big ones for filthy mike with the big r at the end all right peace out